I became an allied health professional because it offered me the opportunity to do everything that I love. Uh, working with people, um, expressing myself creatively, and also um, I think everybody wants to leave a bit of a legacy in this world and I feel like working with people and making a difference, you make a long-term change. I've been a speech therapist in private practice for three years. I studied at the University of Newcastle. Um, I came straight into private practice working with paediatrics straight out of uni. I just found there was a lot more localised work around in the um, paediatrics and I love working with kids. I qualified in South Africa did a dietetic degree there. When I came to Australia, finished my masters, I started my own practice and then there was an opportunity to link with Kids Point. The reason that I wanted to be a psychologist is because I like to help people and also I like to understand uh, human behaviour and why people do the, the way the things they do and you you can find yourself anywhere because it's a very broad field. I've always really liked helping people so I guess that's kind of what brought me here. I also had a really big interest in criminology um, so and I knew that was a path you could take in psychology. I really got into psychology similar to Alicia. I just really enjoy helping people but I have a really special interest for um, neurodiverse children. In terms of working in the tertiary hospital setting versus primary care setting, they really are two very different focuses in terms of care. So hospital setting is far more curative. When you are looking at care in the primary care setting, it's far more around preventative care, but also that long-term outcome. For me, I think it's far more rewarding actually, um, because in the hospital setting, I found that as much as you got involved with the clients, you never really knew what happened to them after that when they left, where now I get to really form those relationships. I prefer working in, in the community where you see people experience everyday, day-to-day -day, um, difficulties and you can help them with that. It's also good to help families um, support them right in their natural community, enter into schools, preschools, homes and help them come up with solutions um, in their day-to-day -day lives. I liked the environment and the feel, I guess, more of the primary care system and I did like the idea of getting to work in like a, a team with a lot of different professionals as well. So working here at Kids Point um, allows us to be really flexible in what programs that we choose to run and what we choose to offer. So um, we're allowed to have freedom over finding a need in the community of something um, that we feel that the children and families would benefit from. My advice to people who are thinking about pursuing a career in OT is to go for it. After 30 years of being in OT, I'm, there's nothing that I look back on that I regret. It's been a great career. I've probably done everything that an occupational therapist can do. And yeah, so I've had many career changes within my career. It's also afforded me the opportunity to travel the world and to start a business. I would just recommend students not to rush into anything they're not sure of. Do a lot of research. I heard about speech therapy off a friend who was studying it, um, an old co-worker. So I always was interested in the medical field, never knew specifically what I wanted to do. So when I heard of speech therapy, I thought it sounded really interesting. So I did my own research. There's lots of opportunities within psychology to find an area of expertise or a niche that you're good at. So you're able to do something really well and you're able to help other professionals to, to understand it. And, but also you're able to provide really good outcomes. When you have good outcomes, you feel like you're doing good work and you feel like you're making a difference. Get experience early on. So become a therapy assistant or do some volunteer work somewhere. I actually, before I even got into doing a role like therapy assistant and psychology work, I just started getting receptionist jobs in medical centres. If you're not sure of what type of allied health path you'd like to follow, go into a multidisciplinary setting and experience different clinicians doing different work because I think Nothing shows you more about the role than hands-on observing clinicians and seeing the work in practice. 